Yes, you, you've just got a few, has something happened that's not come out yet? Has he had a bust up, something's happened, he's been promised something they can't deliver. Mm. Huge debt to two Spanish giants, Barcelona and Real Madrid. I wonder, you know, this is really late, isn't it? And wouldn't it be a great chance for a premiership club to say, let's see, let's see one of the best players of all time? Well, uh, uh, this happens a lot in football world, doesn't it? You know, when the vultures are hanging over your players and if the club is struggling, and that's what's happening with Barca, financially they've been in the mire um, a year ago. Lionel Messi was leaving. He was wanted mm. to go. They wouldn't allow him to leave. They've changed chairman at the football club or president and um, they've tried their utmost to keep him but financially they can't make that deal happen. They lost a lot of money during the pandemic. Spent a lot on the tr transfers that just didn't... Dembele, Griezmann, you know, um, Coutinho, a number of players. They spent about yeah. nearly 600 million. For a club to be 100... Well, 1.2 billion euros in debt. And I'm right in Barcelona they've got their own membership, haven't they? Yeah, they, fans are yeah, members, yeah. but they don't charge a lot to watch. They're not the same sort of pricing as our football well, yeah. and their TV revenue is nowhere near as what it can be. And oh, they really? get the majority. Yeah. You know, Barcelona and Real Madrid get the majority yeah, of that, the money. Yeah. So it's a it's a real strange one that it's come to this. Look, they can't move anybody out of the football club. You know, they couldn't get rid of the big names on on, on a lot of money. Mm. So it's a really big obstacle for for Barcelona. Look, Premier League clubs. I mean, if he, I don't. I think like you, he'll probably end up at somewhere like PSG. But Premier League clubs are, have clearly still got the the muscle. They got money. Now we come from a time in the eighties where Italian teams were dominating financially and were taking a lot. But Liam Brady ended up mm. going. Trevor Francis and soon a good soon as a good mm. few others went. Rushy. Premier League have a golden opportunity here. To show their muscle, pounce and get you know be the vulture, go after some of the best players in the world. So he will leave Barcelona this summer. The Argentine has spent his entire professional career with the Catalan side. The club say although they reached an agreement for a new contract, the deal cannot go ahead because of financial and structural restrictions. There you go. Mm. What next? Uh, what about uh, listen, um, Chelsea fans? Would you love to see him at your <laughs> club? If, if Roman can come up with the goods, uh, City fans, Grealish is in. Would that say that Kane, you know, you get Messi, you can't get Kane? Or it's, it's not possible they can get both, is it? I'm, well, already uh, buying Grealish, surely. Very few South Americans now want to come and play in the Premier League. It's not their desire. It's always Spain first, isn't mm -hmm. it? And that's been the, you know, the story. There have been South Americans that have or come Italy. over. Italy, would you go to Italy? Well, Cristiano again, went there. Uh, uh, well, he did. Well, Juventus put an amazing package towards him. Didn't they pay about $99 million for him when he was 34? Mm -hmm. You know, which was an extraordinary fee for... Lionel Messi is zero and he's 33. So someone, and I imagine more likely PSG, are going to put a proposal to him that is so enormous that very few clubs could match it. Mm. Um, because PSG are now one of the richest in Europe and have, all, and have been for the last decade, but their money is even more value now because of... You know, I, look, TV in, in France has been a big issue around the TV money, uh, which has literally gone, it's spiralled out of control downwards. Um, they lost a big deal and there's new investments coming in. But PSG are run by, a, you know, an empire. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's country's money. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.